US gave Ukraine cluster munitions, Russia started threatening America with a new world war. US President Joe Biden has said that sending cluster munitions to Ukraine was a difficult decision, but the Ukrainian armed forces need them in their counteroffensive against Russia. Biden said this in an interview with CNN. It was a very difficult decision on my part. And by the way, I discussed this with our allies. I discussed this with our friends up on the hill. Biden said, adding, the Ukrainians are running out of ammunition. According to him, the Ukrainian armed forces are trying to get through Russian trenches and stop tanks from rolling. But it was not an easy decision, Biden said. We're not signatories to that agreement, but it took me a while to be convinced to do it, he added. But the main thing is they either have the weapons to stop the Russians now, keep them from stopping the Ukrainian offensive through these areas, or they don't. And I think they needed them. Biden said that while Ukraine's membership in NATO was premature, the United States and its allies in NATO would continue to provide President Volodymyr Zelensky and his forces the security and weaponry they need to try to end the war with Russia. On July the 7th, Biden approved the transfer to Ukraine of cluster munitions that will be compatible with US-provided 155mm howitzers. More than 100 countries, including the UK, France and Germany, signed the Convention on Cluster Munitions, which bans their use, production and transfer. At the same time, the United States and Ukraine, as well as Russia, did not join this ban. Russian ambassador to the United States, Anatoly Antonov, said that cluster munitions are a desperate gesture. The diplomat said, he believes that by raising the stakes in the Ukrainian conflict, Washington is bringing humanity closer to a global conflict. The current level of American provocations is indeed off the charts, bringing humanity closer to a new world war. The United States is so obsessed with the idea of defeating Russia that it does not realize the gravity of its actions. They are only increasing the number of victims and prolonging the agony of the Kiev regime, he went on to say.